Hello and happy Sunday. No, we're not on fire. If you hear all the fire trucks going by, I just have a window open. Not really sure what's going on, but it's not us. So, hey, this is Kelly with ifyouhaveanegg.com, and this is chat number 151. Today is Sunday, December the 8th. This is another one of our live chats. If you're here with us live, please say hi and hello, and I will say hi back. And if it is your very first time, please let us know so that we can welcome you. If you're watching this later on YouTube, it's just youtube.com. Search if you have an egg, and if you don't want to see the hi hellos, just go ahead and grab that little scroll bar and scoot over to about 10 minutes because that's when it all kind of dies down. And hello, Carol Lou. So awesome. Comments are working tonight. And again, I apologize if you all hear the fire trucks going by and don't really know what's going on, but it's not us because we're not out of the building. Hello, Evie, and hello, Andrew. Andrea, and I hope y'all can see my shirt. Hello, Claudie. We were in another parade today. Hello, Michelle. We were in another parade today. Good evening, uh, good evening, Susan from Missouri. And uh, this is, I just realized, this is my second parade. I've, this is the second one I've been in and one that I have attended in seven days. That's crazy. Anyway, so for some reason, we're doing all the Christmas things this year. Hello, Stacy. Hello, Marianne from Pennsylvania. Hello, Shirley Ann. Hello, Claudie. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Claudie. Claudie loves my sweater. Thank you. Elsie says, great sweater. Yeah, so this is our third. We were in our third, in our second parade today, attended our third. So in two, attended one. And let's see. Hello, Kim. Hello, Tay. Hello, Rosie. Hello, Patty from West Virginia. And again, hello, Sylvia um, from Canada. Hello, Lindsay. So if this is your first time watching, please be sure and let us know. Hello, Betty, so that we can welcome you. Hello, Lisa from West Virginia. And if it's not your first time, hey. Hey, my, Chris, my Christy. Hello, Barbara from the Crossroads. So it's another Sunday. Today is, let's see. Oh, wait. Hi. Hi, Sandra from Dingman's Ferry. Hello. Hello, Teresa from Kentucky. So it is Sunday. Thank you, Evie. So it is Sunday, and it is December the 8th, and we are live tonight. Hello, Brenda. Hello, Sandy from Northeastern Kansas. Hello. Oh, thanks, Betty. Yeah, so this is our, again, second parade that we've been in this week. Hello, Vicki. Second that we've been in, third that we've attended. Hello, Kathy. Yeah, so this is my, I don't know if you can see the bottom, but it's the, it says Resting Grinch Face. It says Resting Grinch Face. And yeah, Barbara, something's different. Barbara is correct. Something is different. Hello, Mary from New Albany, Indiana. And hello, Lacey. Hello, Alicia. Hi, Joyce. So far, Barbara's the only one. She's the only one that knows something's different, but she hasn't quite put her finger on it yet. Hello, Marlene from Florida. And yes, Shirley Ann, yes, everything is starting to look very festive. Yeah, thank you, Sandra. This is my resting Grinch face. Yeah, resting Gr Grinch face sweater. So we were in, hello, Tabitha from Pennsylvania. We were in our third, let's see, today was the third parade um, in seven days. We were in two and watched one. Um, okay, Lacey, which one? Okay, Lacey says, is it the camper on the right? Which cam which camper on the right? And anyway, and right for you is different for me. Hello, Linda from Florida. Hello, Irma. Yeah. No, Michelle, the paint's been there. It's been painted for, I don't know, probably close to a year, but something is different. Hello, Sandra from Chicago. Okay, Barbara, but which, which camper? Yes, there's more, but which camper? Hmm. Oh, Brenda says, changed up the camper. Which one? Yeah, so this is not a contest. It's just fun. Hello, let's see. Oh, and Kelly says she was just... Oh, you were. Kelly says she was just in my neck of the woods. She went to the mark, to the Nutcracker and Market Square. That's right there. It's... Well, it's not right there, but it's like two blocks away. Two and a half blocks away. So you were in my neighborhood. Hello, Patricia. Lacey says, next to all the mugs. Mm -mm -mm. Well, okay, that one I turned around. Yeah, I turned that one around. So it's it, there's something else different. Actually, there's two more things different. Yeah, hello, Jackie from Jackson, New Jersey. Oh, but she's in Delray Beach, Florida on vacation. Awesome. And Alicia says the camper with the awning. Mm -mm, nope, that one's not new. Not new. Yeah, and, the, and Tay says the large camper has a patio cover. It's had one. Hello, Angelia. Okay, so Sylvia, I don't know what my left is because you all are actually backwards. So this is right for me and this is left. So... Yeah, big camper, big camper, camper with the tree. Okay, the trees are new. The trees are new. No, the Winnie Bago is not new. It's not new, and I'm so happy you knew what is a Winnie Bago. Okay. Oh, and Casey would be so happy. I got my nails done before the chat. Hello, Vicky. Barbara wants to know what the big green one is. It's a Winnie Bago. Hello, Christy. But I got my nails done before the chat today. So this one is a retired cover. She'll have to tell you what. Hey, Christy. She'll have to tell you what. Um. Nope. Brenda, the drink cups have been there. Hello, Vicki. So, Casey will have to tell you what replacement color. Yeah. 
Lisa, what's on the baby camper? What's on it? Lisa's so close. She's so close. But anyway, and but the snowflake one, hello Sherry, the snowflake one is called Snow Doubt. So if y'all want to have beautiful holiday nails, aloha Kathy, like I do, you can contact Casey. You can contact my daughter Casey. She um, is a Color Street rep and she has hooked me up. Definitely hooked me up. Yeah. So I have loved, I have loved these. And Alicia says the wreath. Marlene says the little, cam little camper has a wreath. Okay, I turned it around. So y'all are super close. So the little camper, I'll point to them. So the Winnebago has been there. The trees, I, I did add. So I've been trying to add something every week. The little camper, that's a mug that one of you all sent me. It is turned around so that the wreath is showing now. And then this one, this camper we've had, but it is turned around. So we usually keep it on just the silver side. It is turned around so that you can see the wreath. And then I added this tree. Snowflakes on the microwave look new. Oh, the snowflakes on the microwave. What that's about is if I don't put a tea towel over the top of the microwave, it glares the light. Okay, anyway, y'all have one more guess. So there's one more thing that's new. One more thing that's brand new, brand new. So like last year we had, well last year we didn't have the Winnebago, but the Winnebago has been up there for a little while. So the, we had the trees, we had this one turned around like this. Hello Marlene, this, let me think. I think these two drink cups are fairly new. We've had them up there for a few weeks. We've had them up there since July, I think. And, um, hey Lisa. And this one has just been turned around backwards and this one has been turned around backwards. But there's one more thing that's new. Yep, my Christy is correct. The little orange camper. So that little camper right there, our friend Darius gave it, gave it to us um, the other night. No, Brenda, the hat's been there. But our friend Darius gave us this camper the other night and I would get it down if I could reach it without a ladder, but it's a UT. It is a little UT. It's a little UT camper. Is that not adorable? Because we're go balls and we're actually in a ball game. <laughs> yay, 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 yay. Hello, Liz. Let's see what that green thing with the black writing, green thing with the black writing. That? That's a Winnie Bago. Is that what you're talking about? Is that what you're talking about, Barbara? That right there? That's a Winnie Bago. Okay. Anyway, hello and happy Sunday. It's Kelly with If You Have an Egg.com. And people who have never been with us before think, and Sylvia, no, not Darius Rucker, but we call him that all the time. No, it's our buddy Darius. So, okay, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about, Barbara. Sorry. I have no idea. I have no idea which thing you're talking about. Green thing with the writing. But anyway, if you are new with us, um, we don't always do camper time with Kelly. So, you know. Oh, you thought it was a pumpkin because it was so little? No, it's past pumpkin time. But anyway, if you're new with us tonight, I am Kelly with ifyouhaveanegg.com, which is an actual blog in case I forget to mention it later. And uh, Barbara, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about that later. And today is Sunday, December the 8th, and we don't always have Camper Time with Kelly. It's just a fun little game that I play, and it's better than the exercise game, right? So trying to figure out what's new up here is, isn't that better than the exercise game if I pick up, wait, where is it? Isn't it better than the exercise game when I pick up the when I pick up the uh, paper clip or when I get distracted or when I say certain things, isn't it much more fun than that? So I know y'all would rather play Camper Time with Kelly than the exercise game. But anyway, so today is Sunday, December the 8th. This is our third um, Christmas parade. And I think we've still got one more left. But anyway, so I am still wearing my I'm still, and thank you, my Christy, I'm still wearing my resting Grinch face sweater. So I have worn this to all three of the parades. But anyway, so yeah, so I still got that on. But tonight we are gonna be talking about, I know, look, it's still there. It is still there. Oh, and Joyce remembers what they're for. So 10 squats, Joyce says 10 squats, everybody. Get down and do them. If y'all missed that one, you need to go back, 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 back in our chats because we're on number 151. I do not remember which number that one was, but we had, we had one where, depending on what I did or said or picked up or whatever, you had to do certain exercises. So if you're new with us, you really need to go back and find that one because it was a lot of fun. Everybody was worn out and sore the next day, but it was a lot of fun. Okay, so I digress. If you're watching this with us live, lots of thumbs ups, lots of hearts. Those are awesome. If you're watching this later, if you're watching it on YouTube.com, um, you can't do the thumbs ups and the hearts like are going up right now and you can't even see them but you sure can do emojis from your keyboard. Um, you know, those are always welcomed. Um, or you can comment. You know, I love it when you all comment. And thank you all for all of a sudden, all the hearts and thumbs ups. Thank you very much. You know, I do appreciate them. Um, so let's see. Or you can find it on our blog, www.ifyouhaveanegg.com. 
And I will say, I finally have started fixing, um, well, let's see, Jessica, who did the KC Kitchen Center, kckitchencenter.com, it's kckitchencenter.com. Um, she is getting ready to start on the If You Have an Egg blog. So I have not updated any, I think I've updated one, maybe two of the recipes to the new WW My Way, but the reason that I have not updated them is because Jessica is doing a complete overhaul She's doing a complete overhaul. So, sorry, I'm gonna make y'all wait just a little bit longer for the recipes to be updated. Plus, it should make it so much faster for me to add recipes so that you all don't have to, um, so that you know, so that you don't have to wait so long for them. Um, but yeah, so that should be coming up really soon. But I did go back and fix the if you have an egg.com website. Up, up at the top, it's got a couple of different sections, and one of the sections says shop. And so a lot of the things that y'all have been asking me about, a lot of the things that we look at every week, things that are ways that y'all can support me and Casey, because again, we do all this for free. We do not charge for any of this. But if you want something that we're showing or and or you're, you know, you're able, um, don't buy things just to be buying things, okay? We love you, but don't buy things just to be buying things. Um, go ahead and yes, Vicki, all of the shirts are in their little envelopes, so you should be getting them soon. And actually, I'm sorry, Vicki's asking about shirts that were part of a um, part of a 30-day challenge. Yes, they are gone, and so you should be checking the mail soon. And actually, you should. Pro I think everybody's. Hmm, I think everybody that gave me their email address, you should be getting email notifications. But anyway, so if you are able and want to and want to support us, you can go to if you have an egg.com and click on the tab that said that says shop store that's awful now I don't know what it says maybe it says store I don't know anyway but if you click on that then it will take you to the KC Kitchen Center website because a lot of y'all have had trouble finding it and I cannot share that link directly because it's still in Facebook jail hello Audrey so it is still in Facebook jail and um, oh hold on Sylvia is the guest speaker at the WW open house in her area tomorrow yeah way to go Sylvia that is awesome I wish I could come you should get somebody to film it you should totally do that. Get somebody to film it and post it. Post it in our closed group. Post it in our closed group so that we can, yeah, so that we can watch it, so that we can all watch it. And then we could do a, um, we could do a watch party. That would be so much fun, so much fun. And yes, Rosie had a lot of fun shopping on Casey Kitchen Center this week. She really did. Okay, so I digress. Okay, enough about shopping right now. So who sat your bottom in a little chair last week? I did not. I had to miss. We had a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of customers at Casey Kitchen Center um, and on Tuesday, which is my normal. Oh, hold on. And Liz, I'm sorry, Liz, I'm going to sidetrack for a second. Liz wants to know, Liz wants to know about the Simple Living Air Fryer and why do I love it? And she needs to buy a new one. Okay, so I have two. Actually, I have four. But anyway, I have two at Casey Kitchen Center and I have two here at home. I have a Simple Living Products and I have a Power Excel. John got me the Power Excel and I have used it hundreds of times, hundreds of times. So if that's what you have access to, it's perfectly fine. That air fryer is perfectly fine. It's just a little loud. And now that I've used it hundreds of times, it's a little bit harder to clean. Um, and the bottom of it is is chipping, like the paint's chipping off of it, which kind of unnerves me just a little, just a little tiny bit. The Simple Living Products one, which is right there, um, is super quiet so when we're running it even during the chats you can still hear over the top of it okay but if you sat your bottom in a little chair last week because i got off of that for a second which means you'll have to do like 10 push-ups i think because i got distracted i'm kidding i'm kidding um but if you sat your bottom in a chair last week give me a thumbs up hello loretta i don't get a thumbs up because i didn't i just skipped because we had so many customers which is awesome though but give me a thumbs up if you sat your bottom in a little chair last week at a um at a physical workshop or if you attended here with us, give me a heart, some hearts. Or if you did both, give me some hearts. And Liz, it's not just because it's quiet. I mean, it's super easy to clean. Um, the basket's a little bit different shape. Um, I don't know, I just love it. I love it, super easy to clean. And it's been true to form and I do love how quiet it is. Oops, Sandra had a great week. She lost 1.2 and had for a total of 35.4. Awesome, yeah, so I'm seeing lots of thumbs ups and hearts, lots of thumbs ups and hearts lots of them lots of them so y'all are rocking this so y'all attended that many of you all attended either a physical workshop or with us the week after thanksgiving that gets extra stickers so here are your stickers for attending but then here are extra stickers here are extra stickers 
for um yeah for come for doing this the week after thanksgiving awesome you all are the bomb and liz yes you can get it on the internet you can go to simple living products i think it's just simplelivingproducts.com um, or if you go to, if you have an egg.com at the very top, there's a link up there to simple living products. It's going to take you to the big one. You don't need, you don't have to get the big one, but if you follow that link, it will take you to their link on Amazon so that you make sure that you have the right manufacturer. Because if you just go to Amazon and type in simple living products, a whole bunch of different air fryers come up. Okay. And Teresa lost 2.5. Awesome. But yeah, so Bravo stickers to all of you all. You all did okay on your homework last week. I know it was a tough one. It was a tough one. I don't know. It was a tough one to verbalize, I think. Um, so, yeah. So, sorry. That's all I had to give you last week for the homework. So, bravo, though, to the people who did their homework and who actually turned it in. Good job. Um, yeah. So, good job, guys. You had, oh, yeah. Loretta did the delicata squash in the air fryer. And it was delicious. You are correct. It is so delicious. It's so yummy. And those of you who haven't found a delicata squash yet, sorry. Sorry, because they are yummy. So, last week, we talked about um, if you get off track, how to bounce right back. So this was your weekly last week. And Brenda wants to know if you have to do multiple batches with an air fryer. So there are only two of us. And the only time I have to do multiple batches is, um, oh, and I'm, at least I'm coming right back to that, Elise. Um, the only time we have, to do, we have to do multiple batches is if we're making more than one thing that requires an air fryer. Of course I do. So I can cook two things at the same time. But there are meals where, like if I'm making corn, if I'm making the air fryer corn, um, which is on the blog www.ifyouhaveanegg.com, uh, that and like a turkey tenderloin and let's say bacon wrapped asparagus or something, which all of those recipes are already on the blog. If I'm doing something like that, I'll do the corn first because I'm not going to be as devastated, you know, if the corn sits. And then believe it or not, I'll do the turkey tenderloin next. And then I do the, the bacon wrapped asparagus last because it needs to be crisp. It needs to be super crisp. Um, but anyway, and Elise, okay, Elise, I hope you do not mind me. I'm not calling you out, but I am so proud. This is exactly why we had this chat last week. So Elise said, I almost gave in and stopped tracking until Christmas, but after our chat list last week, I just couldn't do it. So thank, so thank you, Elise. No, thank you. Thank you, because that's exactly what last week's chat was about. So it, it was about not not stopping. I mean, we still have, let me think, last week we had 90 meals not including snacks in between, you know, last week and Christmas, if Christmas is the holiday that you celebrate. So we had nine, I think it was 90 meals. Does that sound right? Yeah, it, yeah, it, it was. It was 90 meals in between. So now we should have, let's see, if it's seven times 21. It's gonna be like 70, 69, 69 more meals, 68, 69 more meals not including snacks between now and Christmas day. So you have that many more meals, that many meals that you can be on track. So if you're off track a couple of meals during that time, okay. You know, that's like, what is that, a hundredth of a percent? Or it's like a tenth of a percent? That's not even like a percent. I mean, if we have, let's see, if we have 70 days left, you would have to be off track seven days for it to even be 10%. So 90%, so you're 90% on track? Yeah. At least that's exactly what last week was about. You nailed it. You nailed it. So thank you. So last week we talked about being off track and what you need to do to get back on track. Um, and I have already yabbered 18 minutes. So we're going to talk quickly so that we can talk about this week's topic. Um, but they wanted us to tune in to listen to ourselves when we're saying, forget it. I'm just going to wait and start again after Christmas, or I'm just going to start again at New Year's, you know, or I'm, you know, blah, 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 whatever those little stories are that we tell each other. Um, the second thing was to be specific, you know, be specific about what you hear yourself, you know, saying or what you're thinking. And then think of a solution, a specific solution for that, like saying, see, this is a great example, like saying, wait a minute, okay, so I messed up Thanksgiving Day and the day after, let's say I messed up Black Friday too. And I know I'm going to have a free-for-all on Christmas Day, but that's, you know, 80 whatever more meals, you know, that I can be on track. So be specific and then choose, you know, one of the, choose one of the things that can help you, you know, to, to, to tell yourself, no, I'm not stopping until after Christmas. No, I'm not. And yes, Rosie, I'm parched, parched. Um, that was the longest parade today. If any of y'all live in Maynardville, wow, wow, what a parade. What a if any of y'all live around here, you need to go to the Maynardville Parade um, next year. That was crazy. It was crazy how big it was and how many people there were. But anyway, so yes, I am parched because we've been saying Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas out of the Model A. Merry Christmas for two hours. So yeah, Merry Christmas. So anyway, 
Okay, so that was last week. So bravo to everybody that did last week. Hello, Sue from New Zealand. So good to see you. Um, so yeah, just think about that. So you still have like 69 meals left to be on track. Okay, 69. But that's not even including. And Vicki lost 4.2 pounds last week and she is down 16.5 pounds now. Woof, woof. Hello, Lynn. And Lynn, you're just in time. We just, we're just getting ready to start talking about this week. So this week, we're talking about, oops, I'm on the wrong page. This week we are, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, Melissa just got home today from a cruise and she's not gonna let it derail her. That is awesome. That is so awesome. Yeah, so this week I do not have a weekly because I did not make it last week. Hello, Tammy from Toronto, Canada. Um, I didn't make it last week because we, again, we had a lot of customers, which is awesome which is so good because this is usually a slow time for us in the um countertop showroom but what i know lynn so you had already said this earlier so i'm gonna sidetrack for a second lynn lost 8.6 this week so lynn what color had you been following i know you're on purple now but what color had you been following had you been um had you been blue the whole time and you just now switched over to purple or did you try something in between because i know everybody's going to be asking you everybody's going to be asking you which color you are So again, that is not a typical weight loss. So I don't want everyone else who did not, including me, who did not lose 8.6 pounds this week going, what? And I don't want everyone who tries um, purple to th and, they, and it doesn't lose, because that's not typical, just so y'all know. But everybody who tries purple and does not lose 8.6 pounds in one week, do not get upset. That is not typical, but it is amazing and awesome for Lynn. So awesome. But Lynn, I want to know which color you were on before you switch to purple because people are going to ask okay and sue is down 30.5 kilograms which she thinks is about 67 pounds that is awesome but do y'all do stone too i can't remember i can't remember if y'all count in stone too but i always love listening to that even though i have no idea what it means um okay so lynn had been on green she switched to green for two weeks so and she lost 0.4 the first week and then she gained for the next week and then this week i guess when she when she switched to purple she lost the 8.6 so again not typical everybody calm down you know calm down it's awesome and amazing for lynn so happy so happy you know and, and patty's down six pounds with purple purple for me is too disciplined I think it's awesome, you people who can do purple. It's a little too tight for me, but obviously it is working for some of you all. So I'm very proud of you for that. This week, though, is, is chat number 151. And the title of this week's topic from WW is Get to Know Your Zero Points Food List. So those of you that have been around for a while, you're thinking, why are we re revisiting the zero point food list again? I already know it. We've been doing it for a couple of years now. Why, you know, we've been talking about zero point foods for a couple of years now. You know, why are we, why are we talking about this again? Okay, I'm gonna say for myself in particular, we have to, oh, and, and Sue says it's just kilograms, no stone. Oh, well, somebody else can tell me how much they've lost in stone. Um, and Michelle, I'm sorry, Michelle lost 0.7 this week and 3.2 last week on blue. So that is awesome. Blue, remember blue is what we've been doing. That's the freestyle program that we've been doing. So, and purple is, um, purple is more like um, simply filling or what was it y'all used to call that? Cause I never did, I never could get the hang of simply filling. Um, it was called something else. I don't know, y'all have to remind me. You'll have to remind me. Okay, but anyway, so this week we're talking about zero points food, zero point foods again. For those of you who've been around a while and you've been doing smart points and then freestyle for a while, just sit tight. I needed this too because, oh, core. That's right, Carol. Thank you. Thank you, Carol. Yes, it was called core. Um, so, yeah, so I needed to revisit my green. Yes, Sylvia's core. So I needed to revisit my green um, zero points list because um i did and y'all are posting some great weight, weight losses too like tabitha's um yeah so anyway to get so to get something from the from the points list okay so tr uh, teresa says she was disappointed in the workshop and she didn't get much from it hopefully our next six minutes is going to be different okay so i'm going to say we are revisiting the zero points food list because a a because those of us that have been doing it for a while and who had and we've all been on freestyle for a while have to go back if we switch so if we switch to a different color 
if you so we were blue even though they weren't called colors if you were doing freestyle that is what is now blue okay so i switched to green lens switched to purple um so everybody you know if you're on blue you're just staying your zero point foods you're staying the same if you switch colors you really really need to review your list purple people you need to review your list because it just exploded okay it went from 200 zero point foods to 300 zero point foods zero point foods that's not calorie free that's not free they still have calories so but you just you need to look because if you went from green excuse me, to purple, I'm sorry, from blue, which was freestyle, to purple, your list just exploded. So you need to go, you need to go back and look. And Sylvia, yes, I do like green. Um, and if you went from blue to green, though, like I did, so if you went from blue, which was freestyle, to green, which is more like just regular, um, simple, simply filling, I'm just simply filling, oh my gosh, just regular smart points, you also need to go back and revisit your list and i will tell you why i when i made the roasted vegetables last week or two weeks ago whenever it was um i bought what was it that i bought parsnips i bought parsnips so in my mind i was going through and i went carrots are zero brussels sprouts are zero parsnips are zero and i went through and i picked up all these vegetables and i brought them home and i prepared them and i made this delicious absolutely delicious pan sheet pan of roasted vegetables and then guess what guess what i was reminded when i went back when i went back okay and loretta green is in between it's in between points plus and smart points yeah, Lynn, I know, parsnips are points. Yeah, because I was just thinking, oh yeah, it's another vegetable, 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 vegetable. Parsnips are like potatoes. So on green, parsnips are points. So, okay, so, you know, did I ruin everything by eating some parsnips, you know, with my other vegetables? No, but it was a rude, kind of rude, kind of rude reminder. Uh-oh, Kelly, go back and check your list. Go back and check your list because everything that you've been counting as zero or, you know, or yeah, or if it's zero on, um, and they're not free land, they're zero. But anyway, so everything that you've been counting is zero may or may not be zero because people who change to green like me your zero point list just shrank so if you were on freestyle blue and you and you were on freestyle and you switch to blue your stays the same okay your stays the same if you went from freestyle thank you thank you Lynn. if you went from freestyle to purple your zero point list just grew and you may not remember you know or have noticed how many things you can have on their zero now but if you went from freestyle to green your zero points list just shrank and so you really really like me you really need to go back and review it because we've been doing this long enough that my brain just automatically went zero okay so you just need to go back and review it okay so what they told us to look at in you know from our weekly that i don't have is um the first thing they want us to do, and have you all noticed this one, two, three, one, two, three thing? So that it's like a three step thing, which I am totally okay with. I am totally okay with that. Um, and Tabitha, Tabitha says she loves, loves, loves that potatoes are zero on purple. See, that would be my downfall. I am so happy for you that you can control your potatoes that you don't go crazy because I would go crazy. That's why purple is not for me, but people who have some self-control and who will um, who will, um, you know, measure and who will keep track of it, you know, and it still be zero. You all, I'm so, I'm seriously, I'm seriously so happy for you. Purple's not for me though. Um, because I would not, I would just be eating potatoes like they're going out of style. So it's not for me. Um, so number one, create your personalized list. So they want us to create a personalized list of our zero point foods and it's going to be different. It might be different depending if you're if you are blue, green or purple. Cuz remember the purple people have a whole lot of stuff to choose from and the and the green people have less to choose from and the blue people have the same as they had before to choose from. So create your personalized list. They want us to pick 3 things from our zero from whatever plane you're currently on and remember you can change plans if you want to just please 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 let it try it for a whole week before you change i'd rather two weeks but if you can make it a whole week before you change that would be perfect that would be great because it really gives it a fighting chance um 
but they want us to pick three things from our zero point food list um, that you're going to include in your meals this week. Okay, so and, you know, so include that. Um, well, Tabitha, I'm going to tell you something funny. So the reason I have a problem with potatoes is because they are a potato is just is just one slice away from being a potato chip, <coughs> and I have a bad problem with potato chips. A bad problem with them. Yeah. Okay, so three things. So if I pick three things that are on your zero point list that you're going to that you're going to use this week. But find three things on your list, on your zero point list that you've never had. So I know we have a handful of people. I'm serious. It's a oh no, it's already eight thirty. I'll talk fast. A handful of people who um, who have eaten everything, who have eaten everything on their zero points list. I don't see how that's possible. But anyway, if you haven't. Three things that three things that are staples for you, and three things that are new to you, so that you, and try them this week. Number two is to make it work for you. So the zero point food list is going to be critical. This is going to be critical. No matter which, no matter which plan you're on, use your zero point food list to hashtag bulk it up. Still measure, still you know keep track of it. But, you know, but hashtag, but hashtag bulk it up. So use those zero point foods to bulk up other foods that are higher in points so that it's more food and it's more satisfying. They are zero point foods because they are more filling, because they are nutritionally, they're more nutritionally dense. They are um, lower calories. They are lower fat. They are higher protein. Um, so that makes them, a z you know, that helps to make them a zero point food depending on which plan you're on. But anyway, so it's very important that you use those to hashtag bulk it up other non zero pointed that you know things that have points so that you are more satiated so that you feel more full okay and then the third thing is decide when you're going to use either the three that you that, that are on your that are like top on your list or the three new ones you have to use all three of them at the same time but decide when you're going to do it so add some zero point foods to your um to your menu this week to your meals this week but what I want you to do for your homework, because I've already talked to 832 and we still have extra credit stuff, but what I want you to do for your homework is I want you to create one zero point meal or snack. It doesn't have to be a whole meal. So like it doesn't have to be, you know, like this big extravagant meal, but I want you to make one meal this week or snack, a meal or a snack that's zero points. The whole thing is zero points. So, I mean, it could just be a banana, but bless you. It could just be a banana. Hello, Lisa. But I want, but you know, it could be, uh, you know, depending on which plan you're on, you know, it could be like, um, depending on which color you're on, it could be like non fat Greek yogurt and, you know, some other kind of fruit and, 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 you know, some other stuff. But I want you to make one meal or snack that's totally zero points this week. And I want you to post it and I want you to tag me in it. That is your homework. That's the only way you're going to get your Bravo sticker for your homework for next week is to do that. So if you are here on the page, on the, if, you have an egg, if you have an egg page, it's at, if you have an egg to tag me, if it is in our closed group, it is at Kelly Green Milligan. And if you are on Instagram, it is at, if you have an egg. Okay, so do your homework, tag me. <sighs> I'm winded now. I got to take a quick break, and then we are going to start on our extra credit portion. Um, so you all just chat for just a second about um, and thank you, Christy, for Christy to subscribe to Casey Kitchen Center. So it just popped up in the middle of our chat. But anyway, so yeah, any of the rest of y'all that want to subscribe, even if you're not shopping. So let me tell you this. Didn't even think of this. Even if you're not shopping, even if you're not shopping, you don't. Again, don't buy something just to buy something. If you are interested in something, or if you want it, or you need it, you know, whatever. Please feel free. But what would really help if y'all would just subscribe? So if you go to www.k, the letter K, the letter C, kitchencenter.com, and y'all figure out what this is in just a second. But anyway, go to kckitchencenter.com and just subscribe. Then you'll be the first to know when we have coupons. You'll be the first to know when we have classes. You'll be the first to know when we have special things. So please, please, please go subscribe. Okay. And Angelia, if you're talking to me, I'm green. So, okay, I'm gonna take a break and we'll be right back for the second half. Hold on, and I'll tell you what this is about on my fingers. Okay, and I seriously just guzzled over half of that. So, obviously, I was thirsty. Okay, and we're back. <laughs> 
This is part two of chat number 151, and chat number 151 was titled Get to Know Your Zero Points Food List. Please go back and watch that. If you're watching this on YouTube, please watch it in its entirety because, yeah, I think we all need to refresh your course on our zero points food list so we don't forget, so we don't forget, you know, based on which plan we're on. But the second half of tonight's chat, the homework, or not the homework, the extra credit portion, we are going to do something fun. So I have heard, all I have heard this week is, I'm stressed out, I've got too much to do, there's not enough time in the day, Christmas is going to be here before you know it, the holiday that I celebrate is coming up and I'm not ready, blah, 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 I'm run to death, I need a nap, you know, blah, blah, blah. So the second half of tonight's chat, we are just going to look at some ways to take care of yourself so that you get a few minutes of peace, people will leave you alone. I don't know why, but when I do this, people leave, people tend to leave me alone. I don't know why it just looks, it looks different or whatever, but we're going to take a few minutes of peace. So if you don't have time to go to a spa, if you don't have time to hide from all your family and friends, if you have to attend your holiday event, at least find a few minutes to take care of yourself. So how we're going to take care of ourselves this time, it's super simple, doesn't have to be expensive, super, super simple. We're going to talk a little bit about tea. I think tea is an unsung hero um, in our weight loss management. I think it's an unsung hero in as a stress reliever. I think it is, oh no, Teresa's, Teresa, calm down, just do one thing at a time. I think um, she's decorating her tree while she's listening, but that's great. That's great though that you're getting them both done. Um, but I think tea is, um, it's great as a de-stressor. Um, I think it is great as a relaxant and for those of you who are around sick children or sick in-laws or your whole office space is filled with people hacking up a lung, which ours is, um, tea can be a great way to ward off illnesses too, also. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about tea. I found out some things about tea and thank you. I don't know what your first name is, but thank you very much for subscribing, um, PK. Um, but uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about tea. I'm going to tell you some things that I found out that I did not know. Okay, so first thing that I did not know. Well, here's the things that I did not know. Okay, so first of all, these are really cute mugs that we have at Casey Kitchen Center. These are already on. These are already on there. But this one says highly catfinated. Uh, catfinated. Yeah, so these are for coffee and for tea. But here's what I did not know. Okay, all of these teas, all of these teas are either Stash or Tazo. Which one of the girls that I work with pronounces this Tao, but it's Tazo. I don't know. I looked it up. It's Tazo. But all of these are either Stash or Tazo or something like that. Okay, so what I didn't notice, and not all tea has this, okay? So not all tea has this. But what I didn't notice, and yes, I know it's going to be backwards, it has a temperature and a steeping time on there. Did you know that? Did you know that different tea needs to be steeped at different temperatures? I had no idea. So Jennifer is a tea... Uh, aficionado and I borrowed these out of her stash hold on I borrowed these out of her stash at work ha 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 I'll get them back to her she'll get them back I didn't take them she said we could borrow some anyway okay but she is a tea she is a tea aficionado I did not realize that sometimes my tea is coming out bitter because I'm steeping it at for too long or at too high of a temperature or I'm not taking the tea bag out soon enough Okay, I've been drinking hot tea all of my adult life. All of my adult life. I had no idea. I had no idea. And Liz, what is a Breville? What is, oh wait. What do I have? No, that's not it. Yeah, I had no idea. Okay, so like this one, this one from Stash, it's Spice Dragon Red Chai. It, it is, this one is caffeine free. So this time of night, let's please be sure that we're drinking caffeine free teas. But this one has cinnamon, Rebos, I'm probably saying that wrong too, ginger root and clove. But this one you steep, you only steep it for three to five minutes. The temperature that you want to hit is 190 to 210, so just right below boiling. Um, and uh, you want to use it with eight fluid ounces of water. This one, oh, it's zero point. So anything in a tea bag like this, anything that does not already have any oh and barbara says warm your cup up first before you put the tea bag in why tell us why tell us why i don't know why um 
anything that's in a tea bag like this though that does not have anything added like no added sugar or no added anything like that it's would be zero points okay so all of these that i'm showing you are zero points because they don't have anything added to them this one is a butterscotch blondie from tazo hello cc what an awesome dessert tea that would be this one is going to be on to, it's 212 degrees for five minutes and then you take it out uh, this one is chai spice from stash three to five minutes 210 degrees i'm trying to find one of the ones that's less um this one is refresh mint 212 for five minutes where's one of the ones that's less hold on so like this one okay so this one is zen and it it's green tea but it is only 175 degrees for three minutes so less time less time okay and michelle says don't squeeze the tea bag because it makes it because that can make it bitter so the times and temperatures are um, just a quick reference if you go to stash tea.com it's just s-t-a-s-h-t-e-a -S -E stash tea.com they have a chart that you can print off you can just you know reference back to black tea need you need if you're going to do it loosely of course if it's in one of these it's already you already have the appropriate amount in there but black tea one to two table one to two teaspoons teaspoons for three to five minutes 190 to 210 degrees herbal tea all of these are going to be one to two teaspoons okay herbal tea three to five minutes 190 to 210 green tea one to three minutes so less time and only 170 to 180. so jennifer says the lighter the tea so the lighter the color of the tea the less you want the temperature and you want it to be um, and you don't and you may or may not steep it as long so green tea is one to three minutes at 170 to 180 degrees white tea is back up to three to four minutes but it's only 170 to 180 degrees oolong tea is three to five minutes at 170 to 180 and then this one never heard of this i added this to the list because i want to know who's heard of this i don't know if i'm going to say it right i looked it up who air who who air and wait how did it say to pronounce it who air i don't know three to five minutes 190 to 210 so did not know that about the temperatures had no idea you can also go to zazzle.com it's z a it's z a z z l e so you do this to make two the two z's okay so it's z a z z l e dot com zazzle dot dot com and they have a different kind of a cool tea chart and their cool tea chart tells you different mixtures of tea so if you're going so far and see now i totally want to do this i totally want to buy some loose leaf tea and we actually have a girl just down the street on jackson who sells loose leaf tea so Wendy, I may be coming to see you, but um, different mixtures, and when you mix them together, it's for these specific things. So the first one was for flu. Luckily, no one, no one in our family or at work or whatever, you know, knock on wood, has the flu. So so far, we've stayed away from it, trying to be very diligent about washing our hands. But if you ha do have the flu or you have flu-like symptoms, you can mix cam. According to Zazzle.com, you can blend chamomile, turmeric lavender lemongrass and ginger okay and turmeric that is why my hands are yellow because i made a mistake of touching it like an idiot i knew better i knew better i knew it was gonna stain my fingers but anyway so this is turmeric and um, turmeric is great for um it's great as uh, to help with inflammation like to get rid of inflammation um one tablespoon one tablespoon of turmeric is one point I'm showing you this because it's it is really good for you and like people in I guess I think it's India they drink it all the time and they make um, golden milk and golden milk is two cups of light unsweetened coconut milk or almond milk with one tablespoon of peeled grated fresh ginger and and one scoop of turmeric powder bring it to a simmer anyway you make this golden milk and it's supposed to be really really good for you but but um hey Dale but I'm showing you this. Well, first of all, to let you know what color it is. Second of all, to say this is a huge container. This is going to last me like the rest of my life. Third, to say 
a serving is one if you drink an entire serving this is one tablespoon one tablespoon is a point so don't look at it and think oh it's an herb or a spice it's zero points that is not so one tablespoon has one smart point but a half of a tablespoon a half of a tablespoon is zero okay so i'm showing you that just to, just to remind you about that okay but the um but for the flu it's chamomile turmeric lavender lemongrass and ginger that just sounds good so that just sounds good to me relax you can make one to, to help you relax it's chamomile lemongrass and rose who's ever had rose tea it sounds super super good and texas nurse thank you for subscribing i totally just started to pick this up and drink out of it it doesn't have anything in it okay silly me and let's see immune boost we all need this one right now immune boost is chai chai turmeric and elderberry yeah so that would be a super easy one to make for a cough or a sore throat chamomile ginger and turmeric i have all that so i could make that one tonight and an energy boost matcha and ginger okay so let's talk about some other teas these are teas that we have um at casey kitchen center um, and again, you don't have to shop there. We would love you. We would love you anyway. But if you do, if you're looking for something like this, um, but I just wanted to show you some new things, some new things that we have. These are called tea drops and tea drops. Casey found these. I'm not responsible for finding these. Casey found these. These are so cool. Um, the girl that made these, her name is like, uh, it's not Sasha. It's like Sasha, but it's, it's not spelled like that. I'll find her name here in just a second. Anyway, but tea drops don't have a tea bag. Um, it is tea that's compressed. So like this little, the little sampler kit, it comes in this cute, it comes in this cute little box and these are already available on caseykitchencenter.com or um, if you go to, if you have an egg.com and go to shop and you and you'll find these. No, I'm sorry. Today's Sunday. These will be on there tomorrow on Monday. Um, but this is the sampler set. <coughs> And it has, you know, we just talked about, we just talked about for energy boost, matcha and ginger. So guess what I might be having tonight is matcha tea and with some ginger. But I will show, I'm going to show you one of these out of the package here in just a minute. Um, but the tea drops, they don't have a tea bag. You just put them in some hot water. We're going to, we're going to make some here in just a few minutes. Um, but I did want to let you know they do have points. So if you use them, if you use them as the tea drops, they do have points. Some of them are one and two of them are two, are two points. Oops, hold on, I got the little bag caught in there. Um, but they, the cool thing is they don't have a tea bag. You can take them with you. Um, you don't have to carry around a tea bag with you. You can just drop it in anywhere that you can, you know, access some hot water. So, um, I do not know, we'll have to, we'll have to look. Um, Lynn wants to know if matcha has caffeine. We will have to look. Let's see, how many are in this box? This box has, I think it's eight, but let me see. That's so funny. Why do I not know this? I think it is eight. So this box has two of the citrus ginger, two of the sweet peppermint, two of the Earl Grey, of the rose Earl Grey, and two of the matcha. So it does have, there are eight in this little sampler box. And we will be running a sale just in time to get these um, for Christmas. So that is the sampler box of these. And again, some of them have one, some of them have two because they have one, approximately one teaspoon of sugar. So they are already pre-sweetened. Okay, before I show you the next one, I'm gonna go ahead and get my water started. You can make hot water in your Keurig. Um, that's, I make hot water in my Keurig all the time. Just, you know, just hot water. You don't have to make coffee in it. You don't have to put anything in the pod, so you can just make hot water with it. Um, I also have, if you can see it, I have just a regular tea kettle that you use on the stove. I have just a regular tea kettle, and then I have an electric tea kettle, and the electric tea kettle is really good if you're gonna be making multiple multiples, and if you don't want to, um, and if you don't want to um, heat up your kitchen. So the electric tea kettle doesn't, do, you know, doesn't heat up the kitchen. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it started. I'm just gonna push the on button. And my tea kettle, I don't know if you can, can you see it? My tea kettle turns blue while it's heating up the water and then it goes off when it's done. But we're gonna make a cup of that and we need enough time for it to cool off. So we're gonna do that. Okay, 
the I forgot to mention the stash tea the stash tea and the Tazo tea you can get these at many many grocery stores I know Publix um, I believe has both of them um, Target has the Tazo tea and this is owned by Starbucks now so you can so you can definitely get these the Tazo at Starbucks and um, because it is a it is a Starbucks brand and I'm sure like Earth Fair and places like that have it and I'm sure Amazon because Amazon has everything okay then this one says I know it's backwards but it says cotton headed ninny muggins so who has seen elf who has seen elf it is one of our favorite Christmas movies we can't stand Will Ferrell at all but this is his best movie this is another one of the mugs that is available at Casey Kitchen Center and um Sylvia you don't want to know how I have room for all my kitchen stuff you don't want to know this is what we're going to be making so the cotton headed ninny muggins mug there are only three of these we did not we're not going to reorder anymore because it's so close to christmas but there are only three of these so if you want one you're gonna have to go to caseykitchencenter.com or come see me or come see me in the store you know and you can buy one the store is at 5902 kingston pike if you're in knoxville so this is what we're going to be putting in the tea so this is oh i forgot yeah karen says walmart has it too since i don't go to walmart i forget but yeah but walmart has these too okay yeah, Barbara, I don't like him either, but he is fabulous and elf. But anyway, so this is what we're going to be making. So this is one of the tea drops. And look, it has, there's no tea bag. It's just the tea. So let me, let me explain it to you. Okay, it comes in all these different, it comes in all these different flavors. So we have, and we do have all of these in the store. So these are all available at, um, um, yeah, I just completely lost my mind. Anyway, yeah, at our store. These are all available at our store, and they're available on um, kckitchencenter.com, and they're available at, um, if you have an egg.com, if you look under shop or store, can't remember which one it is. Anyway, they have chocolate Earl Grey. What? Chocolate Earl Grey? I haven't tried this one yet. I have not busted into this container yet. But let me just read you just a little bit about these people. This is why we love them. So this is Earl Grey Tea and Cocoa. Okay, and this one is one, this is one of the one smart points because it has a teaspoon of sugar in it. Um, and it even says, we're just a little, we're just a little sweet, um, about one teaspoon of sugar in each drop. So this one has, you know, the, the organic sugar in it, um, organic Earl Grey Tea, organic black tea, bergamot, um something organic cocoa powder certified organic so these are all gluten-free they are all um usda organic they are all i think all of them are kosher i'll look at each container but here is my favorite thing aside from the fact that it's just this little you know tea and it's gonna and it's gonna dissolve aside from that listen to this with every purchase with every purchase you donate a year's supply of clean water to someone in need how how do they do that with every per how do they do that with every purchase this is just a thing of tea how on earth do they do that but it says and, and it's all over their literature it's all over their website it's all over their social media with every purchase you donate a year's supply of clean water to someone in need and it's called the thirst project I already love these people. I, I, I was infatuated before. Oh, and her name is Sashi, Sashi Chandran, and she is the chief tea magician. How awesome is that? How awesome is that? But so they've got chocolate Earl Grey is one smart point. Sweet peppermint is the flavor that we're going to be trying, and it's called they're called tea drops. T e a d r o p s. We have them in the store. We have them at 5902 Kingston Pike at KC Kitchen Center or kckitchencenter.com. Or if you have an egg.com and look under store or shop, whichever one it says. But those are two flavors. Sweet peppermint, that's the one we're going to be trying tonight. And chocolate Earl Grey. And you can see my water is boiling now. So that is 212 degrees. And this is supposed to steep at 190. So I'm going to let it cool off for a second. Then they also have um, matcha. So we just talked about matcha green tea. They have matcha. All of the ones like this, so Carol and Snow, they all have sugar. All the ones like this have about a teaspoon in them. They have a chai spice, and Barbara wants to know how much they are. It's $13.99 for 10 servings, so it makes it a little over a dollar. Um, it makes it a little over a dollar each. But, but somebody gets clean water for a year. 
for a whole year. Um, and plus you support us. But so this is matcha green tea. It's, it's a Japanese matcha green tea. And this one is chai spice. Then we have, those are also one smart point each. We have blueberry acai. And if I just said that right, I get some kind of bonus points. So the blueberry acai is white tea, blueberry and acai. And it is also one smart point. These are the two, and we're missing one. We're missing the citrus ginger because they forgot to put it in our box. But they were like horrified that they forgot to put it in our box. So we will have it in a few days. But the vanilla white tea and the Earl and the Rose Earl Grey, these both have two smart points. They both have two smart points. So um, I have not tried these yet to see how sweet they are, but each one of them has about a teaspoon of sugar. So it must be some kind of flavoring or something in these that makes them, you know, just a little bit more. Oh, this one has vanilla extract ad, as well. So the vanilla white tea has the teaspoon of sugar and it has vanilla extract. And then the rose earl gray has the teaspoon of uh, the teaspoon of sugar and let's see rose petals hmm. so maybe that's what makes it two smart points but these two are two smart points okay and then they also have boost they have boost tea sprinkles and the tea sprinkles there are 12 packets in here and the one that casey and i chose for to carry first is called boost and it is matcha ginger and lemon and it is um and i love this what it says on the side it says boost look at that to-do list don't worry we have a feeling you're going to crush it this powerhouse blend of organic matcha ginger and lemon will have you in that um have you in that hustle and flow mode you got this matcha um this plant with power to um oh isn't with power is native to japan ginger this fierce plant is native to india lemon a powerful fruit native to northern india sorry it's hard to read okay but anyway so these are tea sprinkles and these you just let's see the instructions are over here so these you just sprinkle the tea you direct you sprinkle these directly into cups of boiling water and stir it and then work it these are zero points they do not have any sugar in them so the sprinkles do not have any sugar in them okay so let's go ahead we're gonna go ahead and make this tea so we're gonna make the uh, oh gosh because we only have three minutes so we are making the sweet peppermint so what you do so what you do first is you put your hot water in your cup and i got picked a clear one not one of the cute ones not one of the cute nini muggins ones i picked a clear one so y'all could see it so i'm going to pour my hot water in there okay so there's my hot water and remember this is already sweetened it's already got one teaspoon of sugar in it so we are not of organic sugar so we are not going to add anything else and i'm just going to drop it right in there so you can see this is what it looks like and when you get done so you just stir it you know while it's while it's dissolving and when it gets done there will be tea leaves in the bottom so like when i get done drinking this there will be tea leaves in the bottom and if you're into that kind of thing if you're into reading tea leaves you can totally do that so we're just going to let this dissolve real quick And you do want to stir it sorry for the clinking but you do want to stir it while it's dissolving okay it's just about done so that takes about what a minute and a half for it to dissolve okay so that is just about all dissolved but i want to show you this one has one smart point but since i'm going to use this as a treat i'm going to show you something i'm going to do something else to it so since it's a treat This is a half of a tablespoon of the um, turmeric, so that has no smart points. So I'm gonna stir a little bit of that in there. And it's gonna make it a nice, kind of a funky color. Then I'm going to add one tablespoon of fat-free half and half. And fat-free half and half, one tablespoon of fat-free half and half is also zero smart points. But then I'm gonna put in a, just a sprinkle and hang out with me, we've got one more minute. I'm gonna put in just a sprinkle of the Dax Chocolate Crave. So I'm gonna add that to the top of it. 
Come on, chocolate grave. Okay. So there's just a sprinkle of the Dax chocolate crave, if y'all can see that. And I'm gonna mix all that together and we're gonna try it. So that is one of the sweet peppermint tea drops. That ended up being about a fourth of a tablespoon of the turmeric. One tablespoon of um, fat-free half and half and a sprinkle of Dax um, chocolate crave. So I know it's a funky green color, but let's see what it tastes like. Okay, it smells fabulous, and I know it's going to be super hot. Oh, that's really good. It's really, I don't know, it's almost a rich flavor. Okay, so I am going to go enjoy my sweet peppermint tea drops. Mm-mm. So good. That is so good. And the turmeric has a taste if you don't mix it with something else. And yeah, Dolly, it is kind of like a peppermint patty because it is, it's like pepperminty and chocolatey. Mmm. Sorry, that's so, that's so good. I'm gonna have trouble stopping. So I'm gonna have to let y'all go because I want to drink this. But don't forget the tablespoon of the fat-free half and half that made it just a little bit creamy, just a little bit creamy and oh so delicious. So, okay. So y'all are gonna do your homework. You're gonna tag me in it. Everybody is going to have a relaxing cup of hot tea and do not forget these are the teas will be available starting tomorrow on if you have an egg.com um, click on shop or store whatever it says or on caseykitchencenter.com and even if you're not in the shopping mood just come join us come follow us so we would love to see you okay so good I had to sneak another sip okay everybody have a great week if you're watching this on YouTube please watch the next video then go ahead and go down here and subscribe. And when you subscribe, go ahead and click on the little bell so that you'll be notified when our next video comes up. And if you're interested in a spread shirt, you can click on them right over here. So everybody have a great week. Dusty is worn out from all the parading, so he's snoring. So we're not gonna see from him, but y'all have a great week. I really enjoyed it and I super, super enjoyed my tea. I will be going and enjoying this now. Y'all have a great night and I'll see you next week. Good night, or hopefully I'll see you at the store. 5902 Kingston Pike, we're open Tuesday through Saturday, and, I would, and we have samples. We have samples. I would love to make you a cup of hot tea. Okay, everybody have a great night, and I will see you next week. Good night. Good night.